Do you take the nerd? <laughs> Wait, that's me! Hey everybody, it's Fem Trooper, and today I'm going to be doing a video response to Johnny's Happy Console Gamers video um, that was just released. He was talking about, uh, you know, whether gamers uh, are still this weird stereotype of, you know, sweaty, creepy basement dwellers. And while well, I'm sure that is very much true, uh, it is not necessarily true anymore and times have really changed. And so I kind of just want to do a video response because as I was listening to him talk about a lot of, you know, the stereotypes and how, how gamers or people who like anime or manga or or any kind of fantasy, science fiction, anything nerdy, how we have been treated, so suppressed. We're basically not treated that way as much anymore, but I did want to discuss sort of, sort of some responses to what he said um, in terms of how the thing that struck me the most was that being a gamer or being a geek or being a nerd or whatever it is for you um, is something that people kept to themselves because you don't want people to know that you like anime. Like, oh my god, shh. So for me, um, I found this funny because I think if you were a guy and you liked a lot of this stuff, I'm sure there were a lot of friends that you wouldn't maybe want to talk about those jock types. Not that you were friends with them, but um, it was kind of more accepted to be a guy and to like a lot of nerdy stuff, science fiction, or just overall masculine things. It was women who you wanted to keep it from. And the funny thing is, I found this so true because it was the same with me uh, in terms of like, shh, don't tell girls, don't tell friends who are girls. Not that you don't tell them, but it was really like, tone it down a notch. So for me, I was a huge tomboy growing up. Huge. More than I am now. Um, I was really like, I was like the anti lady. <laughs> like I was just so masculine as a kid. I wore boys clothes. I mean, not always obviously, but I mean like I rocked a Bart Simpson shirt from the boys section from probably Sears. Like, there's no, nobody's business. I just was really, 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 really tomboyish. Um, I, you know, obviously video games, that's a given. Um, but I always was drawn to things that were more masculine, uh, whether that be TV shows or um, movies or anything. Anything, like, really feminine, like, let's say, like, a rom-com or... Um, shopping, fashion, things like that, just like not my thing at all. And while a lot of these things, in my opinion, aren't masculine, they were still associated with boys. So, um, you know, like in my opinion, video games aren't masculine, but they just are. They've been put into this category of, of boys things or like Star Wars, Star Trek, things like that. They're like for boys, which is incredibly stupid. But anyway, um, I liked a lot of nerdy, geeky things um, when I was um, a kid and when I was a teenager. So for me, it was so easy to be friends with boys. And because I was a tomboy and I just, I, I felt more comfortable around boys, uh, I didn't really have to keep it from them. But I remember more as a teenager, keeping it from girls. I didn't have a lot of girl friends when I was in elementary. Um, if I did, they were the same as me, kind of total geeks. I used to um, <laughs> pretend I was Team Rocket with one friend in, in elementary, so there's that. Uh, that <laughs> we were, let's just say we were not popular people. In junior high, though, uh, you know, you're starting to, I wanted a fresh start. I remember going to a ju junior high that was not um, in the same line, in the same stream as my elementary. I kind of just went to a different school, kind of start fresh. Um, and yeah, I remember a lot of things. It was kind of like, don't go being like, oh, I love, you know, video games and anime and all sorts of things. I just love reading manga. Do not. Like, it wasn't that I didn't, I was purposely like, no, no one was saying don't talk about it. It was more or less don't, you know, it's, I was becoming friends with people who weren't into it. So if you brought it up, you were going to get faces like, 
Oh, okay, Paige. We've heard enough about Spider-Man today. And I say that because I'm a person, still, now, it can drive my husband nuts, um, who is very much uh, an obsessive type. So when I get into something, I am like beyond obsessed. And that's not just necessarily with geeky things, but it could be with like a, a musical artist. Like if I'm into something or I come back from a concert, I am like obsessed with that artist, like beyond belief. I, I'm like, I go for like, I remember when David Bowie died, I like was so obsessed with David Bowie because it was just it was just, you know, being talked about. So then it kind of made me start diving deeper into the catalog of David Bowie. And then I was like, just like nonstop Bowie for like three months. And then it toned down, obviously. But I just am, a, I'm, a, I'm an obsessive person. So when the original Spider-Man came out in 2002, I just fell in love with it. It was the first time I really sort of bonded with Spider-Man and Spider-Man since that movie actually has become, is my favorite superhero of all time. And so when that movie came out, I didn't just like Spider-Man, I was like obsessed with Spider-Man. Obsessed. Like, I wanted Spider-Man everything. I started collecting, I started going to comic stores and started, that was a whole new thing for me. Um, and uh, it was just a huge deal when Spider-Man came out. But I remember trying to go to school and being like, oh my god guys, Peter Parker is so cool. And Spider-Man, oh my god, it's so cool. No, the girls were not obsessed with Spider-Man, like, at all. Not obsessed. Not into Spider-Man, not into comic books, not doing any of this. So for me, it wasn't just necessarily like, don't talk about it, but it was more like, all my friends aren't into it, and you're trying to be sort of cool, sort of, and then you try and be, you're trying to like suppress it. Like I better not talk about Spider-Man as much today, or I better not talk about like some manga. I was really into love Hina in junior high. So it was like, I remember, um, for my birthday, somebody bought me a love Hina manga because they just knew I was into it. And they were like, ew, this is so gross. Cause there is a lot of you know, fan servicey moments in it. But see, I understood what that was and that person did not understand. And so they probably looked at me and were like, dude, gross. Um, so my point is, is that, uh, yeah, it was funny because I didn't really hide that stuff from boys, but I always, it was more like, it was harder to make friends with girls who were the same. It was harder to find other people like me, especially in junior high when everyone's trying to be cool. Everyone's trying to like, if you're, if you have any kind of nerdy, um, you know, interest, like, shh, don't, maybe, maybe don't go to school. Don't go to school in grade eight or grade nine and just start telling everybody about Final Fantasy VIII. Like, just maybe, eh, the, the title, <laughs> we are talking about gamers getting married. And yes, I am married. I've been married for almost a year now, but I've been with my husband for 14 years, I believe, which is kind of insane considering we're not really that old. So it scares me sometimes when I'm like, oh my God, I looked like that when we were first dating. Like, holy smokes, we've been dating for a long time um, or been together for a long time now. Um, um, and he likes all sorts of nerdy things that I do, but if we're going to say who's the nerd, it's this guy. My husband does not wear like console t-shirts. Um, he's not as obsessed. This is my room. The man cave, this is mine. <laughs> Actually, the reason my husband and I became friends was through band. So we were already kind of socially outcast people. He was a geek in band. I was a geek in band. Um, and then you know, throughout the years, obviously he enjoys video games. I enjoy video games. Um, he actually studied Japanese, um, and you know, we both went to Japan. And so he, he can get pretty weeby sometimes, but if we're going with, you know, queen weeb, this is this one here. <laughs> so I am the, uh, the nerd in the relationship, I guess, but he likes all that stuff. So yes, gamers can find love and, <laughs> um, you know, you can find people obviously. And that's the cool thing about the internet. You can talk to all sorts of people who love what you love, talk about things that you really enjoy. Um, but there obviously is. So if, <laughs> I know he was saying in the video, if you haven't found somebody, there's somebody for everyone. Um, but I just wanted to talk about that um, just in the sense of people, they think nerds are so so weird and creepy and that, you know, like, shh, don't tell people you like Star Trek that much. Um, but now I don't care anymore. Not as much, but I will say I don't go around at work, like, screaming shit about anime. Like, that's not, um, cause, like, I am the weeb there, and I just feel like, nah. <laughs> what is your experience with being a geek, 
um, and sort of being outcast. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna be like, what's your experience with finding love in the dating world? I'm not going to be like that. But I am curious just because it's funny, um, you know, people don't care as much the older you get if you're like, you know, I really like Japanese culture. People are generally like, oh, okay, cool. Um, and if they're still judging, well, then they're dicks. <laughs> but people in like eighth grade, if you go up to them and you're like, you're like still being like, you know, I kind of like Sailor Moon still. And people are like associating that with being six years old, then not so good. But people in eighth grade are total assholes. Everybody is to some degree. So um, things change, I guess. Things do get better. Uh, but I just, I thought this was so funny that he talked about how he kept stuff from women when um, it was the same. I don't want to tell girlfriends who I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be in the cool group here. So what is your experience um, just having to to be quiet about being kind of geeky. Um, for me, it's just my interest. It's just who I am. Um, there's so many reasons why I like geeky things. For starters, I will say that when I grew up, my best friend was a boy. He was the kid across the street and he became my best friend till I was like in like grade seven, grade six. So yeah, honestly, um, just hanging out with a boy my entire childhood was very influential because I was just hanging out with a guy. So I think because hanging out with a boy for all those years, um, having a dad who was a stay-at-home dad, so always being exposed to masculinity, not that my dad is a hyper-masculine guy, but um, I just feel like that's a reason. So, you know, I wasn't being pushed. Nobody pushed girly things on me, not even my mom. And she's really feminine. So and my mom was like, you want to wear a shirt that glows in the dark with bugs all over it? Absolutely. They're really supportive. If you, they weren't pushing like wearing um, dresses or any kind of girly things, I guess, on me ever. So I was just really, really tomboyish. And they were just kind of like, yeah, you know, our daughter's a tomboy. That's cool. It doesn't matter. Um, but I blame my parents for video games, honestly, because I was five years old when I got a Super Nintendo and. Um, that's really little because I have a niece now who's four and I'm like, oh my god, her in a year is playing video games? Like, that was me? Like, ooh. This stuff is accepted nowadays. It's not as bad, but I feel like, um, when I was younger and trying to fit in, it was maybe something you want to suppress. But let's be honest, I feel like even now, in, like, 2018, you, you telling me a 14 year old kid who's obsessed with like anime is really going around screaming it? I doubt it. I feel like that's sad and they should be, but I just, I don't know if times have changed that much. But I will say if you go up to somebody and you're like, yeah, I really like JRPGs. I like playing role playing games. You're not like, Ooh. that's definitely not something people are doing. They're not freaking out. Like people were super like, like, ew, stay back, the nerd stench, ooh. Not so much anymore, which is kind of nice. I feel like I can be like, yeah, you know, I have every console and I like, um, you know, every modern console or I have a Nintendo Switch and people are like, oh, that's cool, like, that's fun. Nobody is like, ooh, nerd. So tell me about your experiences being a total nerd and uh, whether things have changed for you or maybe if it was something you had to keep a secret because, um, you know, kind of. It was not something you want to be screaming from the rooftop. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Ooh, nerd! <laughs>